Hey there! In today's video, we are going to be talking all about how you can get into freelancing as a grant writer. Spoiler alert! A job you can do from home, you can do from your van, you can do from the beach, right? Just so long as you have internet, a client, someone willing to pay you, and a laptop, and you are in business. So, First of all, before I go into the strategy on how you do this, if you are thinking about freelancing, I suspect, and you're a writer, that's how you landed here, you're probably thinking about copywriting, blog post writing, ghost writing, right? Maybe magazine editing, which is great, but the problem is it takes a lot of those contracts, maybe even writing on Medium, that would be another one, it takes a lot of those contracts to add up into a full career that actually replaces your income at a regular job, right? And what's so nice about grant writing is that they're higher contract value and so you need less clients. So the transition costs from switching from one project to the next are lower because the reality is if you're getting paid a thousand bucks to write a blog, but it took you how long to actually get that client, get the contract signed, the paperwork to get paid. Like, I mean, are you really making money? Probably not. So it's really, really important. And that's why I like this gig because you can be charging between $2,000 and $20,000 per contract for grant writing. And all of a sudden you go from needing, you know, you only need five clients all year, which is great to have a six figure business. That's what you can grow into versus if you go with these little dinky writing projects, which are awesome, they are great, but they shouldn't, I think, be your only source of income. So if you're thinking about things that are available to you, you can consider grant writing. So with that, I am going to be covering in this video, how do you get in this? How do you get paid to do it? Um, how do you get the momentum rolling so you can truly launch this career? All right, with that, let's hit it. back up for a hot second and talk about what is grant writing. Maybe you're wondering, I actually have a video about that. We'll link it below, but the quick and dirty version, grant writing is where you can help an organization secure funding that they do not have to pay back. And the idea is that that funding is helping them do something innovative, something positive for society, right? And so that's why it's worth being subsidized, being invested in by another organization. So to see that work happen, right? So it's, it's think of it as like a loan you don't have to pay back, right? That's a grant. It is obviously typically only for nonprofit or nonprofit type entities like a municipal government, a tribe, um, right? All the nonprofits that you guys know, et cetera, right? Not for profit businesses usually, but that is a side tangent. So how do you get into this? Number one, it sure helps to get certified. A, you're a lot more confident because you actually understand, okay, what is, is grant writing? What are all the steps, the templates, the tools to be efficient and hit the ground running? Especially if you're trying to build a business doing this because you can go and get technically trained. That was how my original course started. It was the technical training, grant writing from start to fund it. But we kept getting questions about, okay, but how much should I charge uh, to do this work for a client? and what business insurance do I need? And do I need to set up an LLC, right? You get, you get all these other questions that you need answers for to actually be a freelancer. It's not just the technical training, right? So it's really important to understand how does business work? How do you convince someone to buy something from you, right? It's very helpful to understand that process. So getting certified is super helpful. Our program is called the Grant Writing Unicorn Ah, I'm losing my breath. The Grant Writing Unicorn Collective, right? It's where you can get certified in the technical training, but also learn how to launch and grow your business. Okay, number two, speaking of which, getting paid to learn. So this is how we do it. We encourage you and teach you how to do informational interviews. So basically that's where you're approaching an organization that you would like to have as a client or you think you might want as a client. You're going in with a state of curiosity. You really just wanna learn more about them, see if there's a way you could help them. Do you see a need? I mean, it's just, it's just tuning into it. Hey, they don't actually know what grants are gonna be going after this year. Bing! You could help them figure it out and put together a funding strategy, which 
we also teach you, which is figuring out, okay, what are those top grants that they have the highest and best likelihood of success to win so that then they can focus on those over 12 months and not be chasing grants haphazardly, right? So the beauty of that is that you can start to get paid without actually doing any grant writing. A funding strategy requires critical thinking skills and research. It's really thinking about and researching and dialing in what are the right grants for this organization to pursue, okay? So it doesn't actually involve grant writing yet. What is nice though, is that usually the grants you recommend, you're then asked to go and implement and then you have a larger contract. It's a lovely, lovely model, works beautifully. But anyway, you can get paid to learn. Our goal for you is that you would pay for your entire investment in the Grant Writing Unicorn Collective within your first three months of joining, even if you have zero experience. Okay, then the rest is gravy. Number three, start small and grow. I kind of wrote this, I, that's not the wording I want to use. I'm not saying start small, think small, but what I'm trying to say is the thing about career transitions is that you are probably pulling this off with a lot else going on in your life, right? Maybe you have a full-time job, other volunteer commitments, a family, just a social life of any sorts, hobbies, like anything for your own health and well-being, right? That actually really matters. So how the heck are you supposed to in this full stack also add in getting technically trained, building a freelance grant writing business? It's not light, right? So that's why it's important to get started on it before you wanna be doing that full time because it takes some time, right? That actually segues into my next point, which is the flywheel effect. When you're getting this flywheel going, it's a little bit like pushing a snowball uphill. I mean, the sucker is like, okay, this is really kind of slow. But once it, cr it crests and it starts to go downhill, it gains momentum and power, right? And then your business is blowing up and you're doing six figures grant writing consulting, right? But it's not going to happen overnight. Career transitions take time. So really encourage you to start small, which is starting with, you know, one to three clients, doing funding strategies for them, gaining your experience and your momentum, letting people know your grant writing. There's a lot of awareness that has to kind of spread. Hey, we could hire you for this, right? Um, so that's just something I want you to think about is that you need to, this goes to here, start before you're ready. There is no perfect time. So when I quit my corporate consulting job, I, told people I I didn't really want to quit. I was just so annoyed with one of my coworkers and I couldn't figure out how to get the, co you know, I couldn't convince the company to help me find a new and challenging role. And I was, I was just really burning out. And so I said, okay, I'm out. Like, and I told people I didn't even want to start a business. I don't feel ready. I, I could really have benefited from a few more years in a consulting environment. Well, guess what? It worked out great, right? Because the reality is you're never perfectly ready. The time is never right. You just have to get it going before you're ready because it takes some time in this, you know, these first six months, even nine months before then things are really chugging and you're cruising and you've pulled off that career change that you're looking for. So that's just something that I want you to have in mind so that you're not holding out, waiting for some perfect time get your butt going, get certified, start to get comfortable with these concepts, and then you can really ramp it up. Okay, so there's the case for why you should consider grant writing as your freelancing gig. It's a really cool job to be able to do anywhere. You can have clients all over the place. I've only had one client in the last couple of years that actually made me meet him in his office, a little old school, right? Everyone else, it's been projects that are virtual and you just Zoom call and see them face to face and interact collaboratively online. So if you wanna be able to work from your van or from your wherever you are, traveling, seeing family, or just even your own comfy couch in your living room, then you can do that. And it's super, super rewarding. Or I guess as implied with the question, do from home. All right, so if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit subscribe. You can ask any questions you want in the comment section below and I will personally answer those. And if you wanna learn more about the Grant Writing Unicorn Collective, be sure to hit the training below, go way deep with some value bombs on how you can pull this off sooner than you might think. Okay, with that, catch you later.